I'm tired of constantly getting door kicked. So I'm building a base entirely out of chain link fences. That way I can see everything that's happening outside. And I can tell you in advance that a base this unique draws the attention of all the nearby clans. But before I can do any of that, I have to start on the beach just like everybody else. All right, here we are, fresh on the beach. So pretty much the only goal today is to make a base entirely out of chain link fences. I have no idea how that's going to turn out. If I had to guess, probably not well, but I suppose we'll find out. I'm thinking I'll probably grab some scrap from this road and then make my way up to outpost. Okay then. Yeah, I'm heading to the other side of the map. And so it was decided. I saved up enough scrap to buy a boat and then the journey began. The plan was to travel from this bottom fishing village all the way up to the one sitting on the north end. It was in the snow, so that would complicate things a bit, but hopefully it would be a little less busy. I'd soon learn though that that wasn't the case. I should be pretty safe off on the water here. So I'm just gonna grab as much scrap as I can. Ooh, I also see a rib in the distance. That would definitely speed up this trip. Looks like we have some fellas sleeping here. It doesn't look like they have much loot, but I'll take what I can get. And I will happily take this boat as well. The new boat made the journey go much faster. I'd already finished half of the trip before I ran into an issue I should have been expecting. Well, that is not ideal. And of course, we ran out directly next to the water base. This base is kind of cool, though. I guess we'll check it out real quick and see what they have going on. And they're moving around. This is not an ideal spot to be in. No fuel. Looks like I'm going to have to swim for it. I managed to swim to safety, buy another boat, and complete the journey. But I was faced with new challenges, because now I had to get my actual base set up. I stashed away a workbench and some chain link fences that I had crafted, and then ventured out of the safe zone to scope out the region. I found a spot that had plenty of trees, nodes, and was close to fishing village. So that's where I decided to put my base. That person who just killed me is the first character in this story. His name is Juicehead Turkey, or Turkey for short. Thankfully, I had stashed away the majority of my loot prior to laying down the foundation. So after respawning and making sure the coast was clear, I went back to grab the final supplies I'd need to secure the base. But I ran into a bit of an issue. Huh. Yeah, it isn't letting me place this. I thought I would have been fine when I placed it earlier. But I'm assuming that didn't work. So I think I kind of have to take out this foundation. There we go. Just have to put a new one in. Yo, what are you doing? Bro, please. Yo, yo, yo chill, I'm chill. Just What's putting going down on? a base. If that's okay. With you guys. All right, man. We live right there, so. Okay. If you need anything, let me know, bro. Thank you. I just locked out big time. That was like the worst possible timing as well. I had just gained a newfound friendship with my neighbors and with Turkey's blessing, I replaced the TC and finished securing the base. Now the base was secure, but it wasn't safe. One of the unfortunate side effects of using chain link fences as your walls is that they can be shot through. So anyone that wanted to shoot me while I ran around inside my base would be able to. I wouldn't actually be safe until I was able to place down honeycomb. Since for some reason, bullets don't do damage if they have to go through two fences. I was interrupted though by a stranger asking for some cloth. Just a little bit of cloth, maybe. 
We exchanged resources and he went on his way. But that brought to my attention yet another challenge of this base. People would be able to just loot through the chain link fences. I'd have to make sure that every box I placed down was locked. I was just about to put a lock on my box when a new person walked up to pay me a visit. His name was Donut Dave, and it would be a name I'd quickly become familiar with. I had to wait for Dave to leave the area, so I decided to stop by Fishing Village while I waited. It just sucks that there's nothing I can really do right now. Like, even if I manage to get inside my base, I just, I'm gonna get shot without the honeycomb. Come on, get in there. You know what? I think that's good. They're not getting it out. Now I have to go check and see if any of my stuff is left. I think I died far enough away from the wall that he wouldn't be able to loot me, but I realistically have no idea. Well, would you look at that? I really only cared about the jackhammer, so very happy that I get to keep that. And now I have my locked box. We're moving up in the world. I had lucked out this time, but if I truly wanted a chance at living here, I'd have to get honeycomb up immediately, or a raid would be inevitable. Dang, I think I'm being raided. What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good. Yo. Uh, nice base, bro. I like oh, it. Oh, thank you. I'm kind of surprised they didn't kill me. Like, that makes me think that Donut Dave isn't part of their group. I honestly have no idea. I needed more metal to craft additional fences. So I slapped down a few furnaces in the middle of the room and got them cooking. Unfortunately, I wouldn't have enough time to actually make use of them. Looks like someone's coming. Hey, sir. Yo, sir. how's it going? Hey, sir. Oh, it's a uh, donut what day. What is this, uh, this uh, base you got? Uh, it's just my base. What do you think of it? That was so stupid. I don't know why I got that close to the fence. And now he's raiding me. I don't even have a bag in the base yet. Yep, yeah, he's still outside my base. I'm hoping that it's recoverable. Well, he placed his own TC, which isn't the best, but at least the rest of the base looks intact. I'm surprised he didn't break my box. I'll just have to take out the TC. Hey man. So, you know, there's just some kid ha uh, has he bait, and that wasn't you, was it? Nope. I was too busy getting raided. You just got raided? Yep. He walked up with a Molotov and raided me. Uh huh. You need a Molotov, bro? Uh, that would help. Thank you. All right. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. That actually might have just saved my wife. And the PvP kit will be extremely helpful as well. With the base back under my control, it marked the end of hour one. Although things only got crazier from here. As I understood, here's the lay of the land. Donut Dave, my main adversary, lives down the hill in a base near Fishing Village. Meanwhile, Turkey and Rooster lived up the hill in a clan base. I also assumed that each base had several more members that I hadn't met yet. The real issue though, is that my base was directly between them and tensions between the two groups was rising. I think I have all the metal I need. Now we just have to upgrade. With the honeycomb now completed, I would be relatively safe inside my own base. And I'd still have the major benefit of being able to see outside. If I wanted to upgrade my base any further though, I'd have to industrialize a bit. And the first step of that was getting enough scrap for a tier 2 workbench. You know, I've actually been enjoying these power line structures. I've never really used them before, but they're a pretty good alternative for not having a road. Oh, 
Esmet coming up. I'm greeting a little bit right now. Yeah, that's deserved. My bad. The third member of the clan had introduced himself. I called him the Russian, and he loved to shoot everything in sight. Come on. I'm just trying to make it back to base. <laughs> of course it's the Russian again. I eventually reclaimed my stuff though and made a decent scrap run. 400 scrap is not bad at all. I will happily take that. And if I remember correctly, I should still have some scrap at base. So I think I can make that tier two workbench. There we go. Now we can start to modernize a bit. If I've set up everything correct, it should take any like metal and sulfur that I put into this box, cook it, and then spit it out into this other box. I know I could have just used like normal furnaces, but this makes it so much easier. That and I just, I hate farming wood so much in this game. Now I just have to go farm some notes. And we actually got home safe. I didn't get like an insane amount of metal, but hopefully this will be enough to at least start making a second floor. My next goal was to add a second floor to my building. I was quickly running out of space on my first floor, and if I wanted to fully embrace the challenge of the space, it would only be fitting to add a second floor. I waited until it was nighttime and then set out to get to work. Okay, it should be dark enough now. The hope is that everyone just kind of stays in their base since it gets really cold and that's when I'll build my second floor. Well, seems like not everyone stayed in their base. Ah, if it isn't my rival, don't it Dave? I should have been expecting that from him. I think I'm kind of okay dying there though. The second floor is mostly built now. I just need to go up once he leaves and place a couple more fences. Morning had rolled around and with it, a new visitor. That was a close one. This visitor happened to be the fourth member of the clan base named DCX. He soon to be important person in the story. Looks like we have someone new checking us out. What is this, bro? It's my base. What, what the hell? Bro, what is this, bro? What type of fucking YouTuber silly base is this, bro? I'm not entirely sure what to think about this guy right now. Because he's definitely scouting like every corner of my base. So I'm pretty sure that a raid is coming. I don't think he'd show that much interest in the base unless he was planning to raid it. Well, would you look at that? It's happening. Yep, there it is. Hello. I mean, I think the base is just lost at this point. I don't have any guns to defend with. I mean, I can craft some fences just in case, but yeah, there isn't much. Honestly surprised they're not in yet. Wait. They didn't even damage anything. Yeah. That's a little odd. <laughs> well. There they go. If I'm being honest, I'm still not exactly sure how my base survived. But we live another day. I didn't realize until afterwards, but chain link fences have a superpower that I didn't know about. Apparently, they're just immune to explosive ammo. Rockets or other explosives will quickly destroy it. But for some reason, if you shoot explosive ammo directly at a fence, 
it does zero damage. So I had managed to survive by a stroke of luck, but the landscape of things had drastically changed. The clan was no longer an ally. They may have helped me reclaim my base early on, but now they had tried to take it all away. They even had the gumption to stop by and say that we were chill. My homie said you were chill, so I'm gonna leave you alone. We in fact were not chill. We were at war. I needed to prepare myself, and a key part of that would be getting access to my second floor. It was completely finished, but I wasn't able to gain access to it since I was blocked off by the floor grills I had placed earlier. If I'm remembering correctly, the ceiling tiles should have like the same durability as a sheet metal door. So I'll need to scrap together enough sulfur for that. It might seem silly to worry about getting access to my second floor, but I needed space to place several more electrical items as well as some normal furnaces for charcoal. After a quick sulfur farming session though, I had all the sulfur I needed. I'm kinda just crossing my fingers that these satchels don't break everything in the base. I'm moving everything as far away as I can, but we will see. Here we go. And just like that, we have a second floor. The explosions had stirred the hornet nest though, and it resulted in both groups leaving their bases to go look. You know what? I'm gonna finally use this gun that Turkey gave me. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? First kill of the wipe? I might just be the best PvP chat in the game. Well, never mind. The groups were fighting non-stop, but I didn't have any more weapons to use, so I needed to find a more creative way to get kills. I had a bunch of scrap lying around still, so I tech treed my way to landmines and crafted up a couple. My goal was to place them near my front door and hopefully get a free gun if someone stepped on it during their conflict. I'm hoping that these landmines at least get one. Bro, why is he just camping my base like that? Like they know I have nothing. There's no way. I'm crossing my fingers that I actually killed him. If he was full health though, then he'll probably still be alive. Oh, well, there he is. I'll take this. Thank you very much, sir. Actual karma for camping my base. Yeah, I, I can see him outside just looking for it. He has to know that I have it. Nobody else would be close enough to take that in time. Well, <laughs> there he goes again. This event marked the beginning of the end, since a raid on my base was all but insured. If there's something clans hate the most, it's grubs. And when they live in a paper base like I do, then there's no excuse not to exterminate them. I knew that I would have a little time before events unfolded, so I took that time to make some very necessary base upgrades. Isn't it just beautiful? How could they raid something like this? While I was busy upgrading my base, the clan had been busy eliminating Donut Dave and the rest of his group, leaving me as the only opposition within the region. But my base was ready for the raid, and all I needed to do was give them a little push. Using the little gunpowder I had left over, I crafted a single satchel charge. This one satchel charge would be the thing that would bait the clan out of their base. I used my remaining landmines to create a trap around my front door, and then got into position with the satchel charge at the ready. Hopefully they're still online. Otherwise, this will be a waste of a satchel. Now all I have to do is wait. They're working their way up the hill. I wasn't expecting there to be three of them though.
Well, they already saw the landmines. Not a great start. Hey, little asshole. What's up with all the landmines? One thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that I didn't place just a couple landmines. In all actuality, I had placed over 70 landmines under rocks and in bushes surrounding my entire base. If they wanted to raid me, I was going to make it a challenge. No shot. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm stun locking myself right now. I was not expecting it oh, to work don't that you well. Dare fucking touch that shit. Bro, I just got caught on the door. Bro, landmines, bro. I should not have left my doors open. Yeah, I may have just thrown extremely hard. There's no way they died again. I will take what I can get, though. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, they don't seem particularly happy about the landmines. The end has begun. Without peek downs or a shooting floor, there isn't much I can do to defend this, though. But, I mean, I can at least turn on my sound system. Yeah, you did it now, motherfucker. You did it. Those landmines are popping off right now. I don't think they'll save me, though. This is actually kind of great for me right now, because all of this explosive ammo they're shooting doesn't do any damage. I just have to hope that's all they brought. The full gear guy just died. I feel like I have to push out for that. There's a chance he could just have all of the boom on him. I just got roof camped. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even check for it. I still have a single gun left in base. But there's not much I'll be able to do with that since I can't go outside without being roof camped. And it's not like I can do anything from inside. Full gear's dead again, but I don't think I can really afford to die again right now. I'll just get roof camped again anyway. I did just hear two people hit landmine. I might have to go out for the loop. Never mind, he's already respawned. Back into the base I go. We're like in an awkward lull at the moment. They just keep getting bag timered by the landmine. But it's not like there's anything I can do while they're dead. So I'm pretty much just waiting for them to continue. Maybe I can shoot from the second floor. That was such a bad idea. That's up, you little... Yeah, it's over. They can just shoot into my base now. I feel like I could have played that so much better. Before I left the server, I decided to visit my base one last time to talk with the clan. 
Yeah, GG's, brother. GG. It is, brother. It was kind of cool. It was impressive. It was Thank impressive, you. man.